Hello, everybody. Welcome to Marsova Fields here in Vratrav. The smiles are everywhere around the beach handball arena because it is time for the gold medal match. And what a contest it should be between two South American neighbors and massive rivals. You can see there it is Argentina against Brazil. Brazil looking to defend their gold medal that they won four years ago in South America. They beat Hungary in a shootout that time, but it's going to be a new name on the podium as Argentina have reached this point as well. And the two sets of teams just going through their final warm-ups down on the sand before this gold medal match gets underway. It's been an interesting tournament for Argentina. They'd lost their first two matches, 2-1 to Spain and then 2-0 to Norway. This is their side. Watch out for number 13, Celeste Mechia. She is the top scorer so far for them with 52 points. Well, Aguzzi and Rossi have also scored highly with 30 and 29 points respectively. This is the Brazil side that have won every single match so far in straight sets. 2-0, they beat Australia, Poland, Chinese Taipei, Tunisia and Spain. Their top scorer so far has been Renata Santiago, wearing number six. She has hit ten times as many points as her shirt number, 60 in all, in just five matches, an average of 12 per game. We are around six minutes from the throw-off here. The Brazil coach having one final word with his side before they get introduced to the crowd. There have been plenty of waiting and praying ahead of this one. These two sides need no introduction to one another. Brazil, who won silver at the World Championship last year after losing to Spain, while Argentina finished down in seven. But after Brazil, they were the next best-ranked side from the Americas, so they made it through to Poland. Let's see of team spirit in the Brazilian side. Gold medal winners in 2013 when it became an official sport. They won bronze back in 2009 after beating Macedonia. And in Duisburg in 2005 when the games were in Germany. They also beat Hungary in the final there. That in straight sets. When Pete Chamble first appeared at the World Games when it was the unofficial World Championship for the Federation. In a round robin event, they came third behind Ukraine and Germany. Time to meet the officials. All this afternoon's gold medal match. The two will be hoping to have a quiet game and go pretty unnoticed, really, apart from the extravagant signals when the goals are scored, which are always fun to see. Step up onto court now. And the two officials are local. They're both from Poland. They get the privilege of officiating this gold medal match and the gold outfits are on display to welcome the two teams and we start with Argentina wearing two it's Agustina Mirota Ivana Eliges wears six Florencia Ibala wearing nine wearing ten Rocchio Barros Florencia Beritio wearing twelve Celeste Mechia, we've already discussed, wearing 13. Daniela Oguzzi wearing 15. It's Carolina Rossi with number 16 across her chest. Number 20 is Luciana Scordamaglia. And not forgetting number 24, Reyn Cardenas. They will be the underdogs in this one. They know they have a real battle on their hands up against the might of Brazil. They've been invincible in this competition so far. Can they make it? Six wins out of six. 
Here they go. Natalia Senna wearing two. It's Camilla Sosa in three. Wearing four, Milena Alencar. Number five is Patricia Shepper. Henata Santiago, top scorer, wearing six. Ingrid Frazon wearing number seven. Number eight is Juliana Oliveira. Cynthia Pires wearing number nine. Carolina Bratz as number 10. And not forgetting number 14, Jessica Barros. Plenty of Brazilian sport in the crowd. Both sides wearing their traditional colors. The famous yellow of Brazil. The blue and white stripes of Argentina. Smiles all round between these two sets of players. Plenty of respect between them. And both minds on only one thing now. The Brazil coach all smiles as well. Can't get enough high fives at the moment. There is the Argentine coach, Salvador. Comparone. There's the Hooter. Play will be starting ever so soon now. Argentines having won their semi final against Norway were partying forever. Stanley McKenzie is the man in charge of Brazil. The waiting is over. Semi finals. Both of these teams were late afternoon yesterday on Friday. Fast forward nearly 24 hours, and it is the gold medal match. It's Argentina against Brazil. And we're underway. Brazil get possession straight away. It will be the first to strike. Down here for Cynthia Pires wearing nine. Back into the middle, but that's well intercepted. And Argentina will have a go at coming forward. Into the middle for Eliches in the specialist pink top. That's a good ball though, and Brazil have it back again. Popped inside by Karina Prats, and it's an effort from range there, which goes in for the opening goal. 2 0 Brazil. Argentina not stewing on it though as they try and hit back to equalise straight away. Four by Ingrid Frazal. Nice give and go. Back out wide now for Pires. Alan Cut. Pires. Into the specialist there, Camilla Sosa. An opportunity right on the edge of the box, and that's a flying save. But if you're preventing Brazil there. A good seat, plays it far side. Equaliser for Argentina. Ninety seconds gone. Both sides able to get a goal in that time. Pires back inside to Sosa. Sosa again. Pires trying to get on the end of it, but it's an Argentine arm up there. And Brazil will restart play. Cynthia Pires. Pires into the top corner. Brazil regain the lead. Trying to find a way through there in the middle was Camila Sosa, but she was blocked off. The opportunity was there for Pires. Wouldn't have counted, but it was a save anyway from the goalkeeper. Here come Brazil. 4 2 up. Trying to make it six, but that was a poor pass back. Argentina slowly making their way forward. Barros 
Out to a good see on the left. Barros, a good see. Nice pass to the far side, just too high. Good thought. Brazil looking to spring the counter. It's gold medal match has seen three goals in the opening three minutes. It's ball over, and that's a really good finish. Well, they had two players over there on the left hand side, but one of them was Renata Santiago. She popped it past the on rushing Florencia Berithio. Argentina looking to claw some points back and they shut the lead down to just two. Brazil lead six points to four. To Santiago again in off the underside of the bar. You can see why she scored so many points so far. Always in the right place at the right time to score. Better ball again, and a wonderful finish. I'm not sure it's going to count. Look of anger on the face there of Daniela Gutzi. You can see the referee's signal there saying she'd already hit the ground. Santiago! <laughs> a quick fire hat trick for her. It's all moving to double figures. It's a really fast gold medal match. And again, the ball in the net, but again, it doesn't count for Argentina. This time, Agustina Mirota denied. Santiago again waiting in the middle. Will she get the ball? Not yet. She might in a second. Oh, no. Poor pass. Now Argentina can start again. Agutzi goes back to Barros. Barros, a good see. Barros, a good see free on the left, but it's into the middle instead, but it couldn't be uh, fired towards goal. Half of this first set now gone. Brazil with a comfortable lead, but not a decisive one. But that's going to do them no harm at all there. Milena Alencar. The good see spinning and finding the net for Argentina. That one will count. The lead cut down to five. Brazil waiting for the opportunity. Cynthia Pires gets it now. This should go in. It does. You don't just get goals with Brazil, you get spectacular goals. And another one of them there. Right into the top bin. It's wide that time. Oh, the Argentines. Six minutes has flown by here. Remember Brazil haven't dropped a set yet in the competition. It's not going to win this one as things stand, but that one in the net. Count though. The team in yellow by well, the majority though is the specialist in green there who thought she'd scored. A good see. Good see again. Spinning. Deflected. Good block by the defender. Santiago just waiting there. The team know that if they give her the ball, she's probably going to punish the opposition. Pires. Pires again. Santiago still waiting. She receives now, and of course she scores. She is lethal. Great balance and accuracy. A wonderful athlete. Stopped on 7:18. Timeout called. No, in fact, it's just the 
break in play. It looks as though the timeout card had gone down there. A bit of confusion, but Brazil do restart us. They lead by eight points at the moment in this first set in the women's gold medal match. Make that ten as they move on to 16. Argentina getting blown away a bit at the moment. Well, no means out of their depth, but you can clearly see they're up against the more superior side. Santiago opting not to shoot that time. Waits for an easier option to arise. She may well do in a second, although maybe not for her. Her teammate instead, and that's 18. They'll reach 20 before this first set is up. Argentina still trying to play. That one was already down into the sand. As Ivana Eliges trying to reduce the deficit. Brazil leading by 12 now. Six goals at least needed for Argentina here in the final 90 seconds, which quite frankly is not going to happen. Santiago off the bar. Well, oh, it's not often she fires one off target, but she did that. Just too high from the forward. Argentina have now put their timeout card down, so they will get a mini break here. The cheerleaders come out to entertain the crowd. Let's dip into the team talks. Passionate team talk there by Salvador Camparone. And he'll have even longer to do it in just a few seconds' time as this first set comes to a close, which I'll be very surprised if Argentina get anything out of. Going one of the most miraculous turnarounds in beach handball history. 90 seconds left. Argentina in possession. Not a bad return. And that's a good finish. That's the start they needed. And then Brazil scores straight from the restart. Nightmare for Argentina as Brazil move on to 20 points. So frustrating for teams when they score and then don't get off in time and let the defence come on. And the goalkeeper there wasn't in position as she was caught out. Argentina running out of time now. 45 seconds left. And that's a Brazilian ball. Santiago waiting. Played through the middle instead here and squeezed in for another goal. This has been total Brazilian dominance here. 22 points to eight. Argentina move into double figures, but this has been comprehensive. It will surely give Brazil plenty of confidence going into the second period. Maybe time for one more goal. Just beyond the reach there of Renata Santiago. And Argentina finish with a flurry. They can't. It hits the post. The hooter had gone anyway. Brazil victorious in the first set as they move ever closer to that gold medal once again. Confirmation of that first set win by 22 points to 10. Well, Argentina are going to have to come up with an almighty plan now if they're going to topple Brazil in the second set. Plenty of thinking for Salvador Camparone to do. 
Druga strona odpowiada A. Trzy, dwa, jeden. Trzy, dwa, jeden. Trzy, dwa, jeden. Andy McKenzie, meanwhile, on the other side. Short and sweet with his shot. Sure, the message will be more of the same. Get the ball as quickly as you can to Renata Santiago. She's the danger. She's the best player in this Brazil side. She's caused plenty of problems for Argentina thus far. Here are the highlights then from that first set. Brazil scoring early on to give them the perfect start. Argentina got plenty of goals themselves, but in Renata Santiago, Brazil have a real star of the beach handball scene. She is scoring for the team in yellow. Had a couple of goals ruled out along the way. More encroachment into the box. Brazil continue to add to their tally though. The space is opened up in the Argentine back line. The Epinus there with that goal. 12 goals overall for Brazil. Argentina with less than half that tally. 12 goals from just 15 shots at goal. 80% success rate. Well, the Brazilians looking pretty chilled, pretty relaxed, pretty confident. And why not? If you win 22-10 in the first set of a gold medal match, then you know you're onto something good. Know they're going to have to put in the performance of their lives if they're to try and take this one to the shootout. Just wonder whether there's a belief there or not. Well, there certainly was a couple of hours ago, but that first set, which Brazil really bossed, a few of them may be feeling a little bit differently. Was all ready to take on this second set? Second set, which if they win will secure the gold medal in back-to-back -back World Games events. Two-one win against Hungary in 2013. Secured them gold there in a much tighter game. And again, looking to win in straight sets here in Poland. To secure top spot on the podium. The victory ceremonies both coming after the conclusion of the men's gold medal match, which follows the conclusion of this. Brazil in that one as well. The game as they take on Croatia. But at the moment, it's all about the Brazil women's side. Whether they can beat the old enemy. Second set underway. The Polish referee launches the ball into the air and Renata Santiago gets a hand on it straight away, but it's Argentina's ball. Rossi plays it across to the team at Mechia. Good stop there by the goalkeeper. Will Brazil will be the first side to get the first goal of the second set. Pace on the left hand side, good take, wonderful goal. 
It is Brazil who get off the mark. 2-0. Good spin there, though, and Argentina with a quick fire response. Carolina Rossi. Brazil's clean sheet disappears in an instant. Argentina's has long gone. And that's a stunning goal right into the top corner there by Camila Sosa. Rossi going back to the specialist there, Eliges. That's off the frame of the goal. So very close there for a good seat. Senna puts it forward. Fire passing here between the Brazilians. But a slip there right at the end. Gives it back to Argentina. Who play it forward through Perithio. Rossi on the right. Ran out of space. She fell forward there with the momentum. Just for Argentina from the left. But a really good block there to turn that one over the crossbar. Stopped by Ingrid Frazal. Continues to move the ball. Popped out to the left. It's a good pass, but a good stop that time by Florencia Perithio. Rossi on the spin. I think he got a deflection on the way through as well, which didn't help the goalkeeper. And Argentina level things up at four apiece. She threw the legs there. for the block Brazil restart it's a good block though by the goalkeeper who celebrates there Brazil keeping it just two goals for now Rossi going square the block and Brazil get the decision Seven minutes left of this gold medal match. A second set which Argentina have to win. So goes and again Brazil get the decision. The ball in the arms of Patricia Shepa. Santiago out of the game at the moment. Denied there for Brazil. Once again, is Patricia Shepard, but it's in this time. I oh, beg your pardon, it just dropped over. And Argentina continue with the score still at four apiece. Rossi, halted there, and it's in. Now to Santiago now helping on defensive duties, but he couldn't prevent an Argentine goal. As it was smashed in there by Ivana Eliges. Back out to the left, and Brazil score again. Rimanela Alenka. Bypass Rossi this time, it's back into her now. Argentina getting closer as they get an attempt on goal, but that's high and wide. It stays at 6 6. This second set much closer than the first. Argentina giving Brazil a much better game. But it does look as though they've changed their tactics slightly. And they're using the height of Santiago in a defensive sense this time. Frustration there for Patricia Shepard. Not too far away. Rossi. She took that one, but couldn't get the shot off. Now Santiago back up front as coach Stanley McKenzie tries to get them ahead again to a healthy lead. So they don't give Argentina a sniff. Santiago, well, as soon as she goes back up top, she scores. It wasn't in any doubt. Argentina have it with Rossi. 
Less than a quarter of this match to go now. Argentina trying to score, but denied by the big frame there of Ingrid Frazal. Argentina continue to come forward, and Frazal is there again. No beating her at the moment. Into Elishes, Rossi, the specialist Elishes. Wide by Agutsi. Rossi, this time she finds her way through. 8-8 eight, eight now. Just over three and a half minutes to go. It's going to be tight. Remember, Brazil won the first set 22-10. The uh, arena here pretty much packed out for this one. Everyone flies in for the gold medal matches. And towards Santiago! Brazil ahead again. Can they keep their lead this time? Out to Rossi. Infield to Mechia. Elijes out to the left hand side, then back to Mechia. Rossi, Mechia. Elijes, chance on the left, it's in. Argentina following Brazil every step of the way at the moment. Very well converted there by Agutzi. Get the ball to Santiago if they can. Give her the ball and she will score. <laughs> not always though. She's not the only one who can score, you know. Milena Allen Carr chips in with some. Here's Rossi for Argentina. Back for Rossi. She can shoot. She leaves it instead. And it goes into the bottom corner from Ivana Eliges. 12-12. This one at the moment heading towards a golden goal. You'd imagine Brazil would have thought this would have been a bit easier in the second set, but it's not been the case. Clear block there. Apology accepted. Busy is there okay underneath? It's a bit loud out there. And you're screaming and shouting. Real party atmosphere with the music as well. Oh, it's off the bar. We're inside the final two minutes. Argentina, remember, finished third in their group coming into the quarterfinals. They'd only won one of their three matches. So they beat bottom side Tunisia. They've gone on to reach the gold medal match here. They're drawing 12-12 with Brazil in the second set. And they're in possession on the attack with Rossi. Into the middle, but that's an ambitious ball. Now Brazil will try with Renata Santiago. She's up top. We start the attack again. It's wide by Camilla Sosa. Sosa out to the left, but a really good one-handed push away. Had to be as well from Ibarra. Alan Carr inside. Sosa trying to find a way through. She's done it. With a minute to go, that could be a gold medal winning goal. Rossi. Time almost up here. It's got to happen now for Argentina. Rossi's free on the right. But going through alone instead there was Ivana Elijes, but the whistle's gone. Argentina have it. Can they do it again? Off the post. No, they can't. Brazil in possession. 25 seconds to go. Time out. Time out called. Drama right at the end. There's a two point lead for Brazil against the old enemy Argentina in the women's gold medal match in the beach handball here at the World Games Rotswab 2017. One final team tour for both of these coaches to try and get their players ready for the seconds that remain. Stanley McKenzie really drilling the instructions into his players now. 
nothing over ambitious, nothing that is not sensible. It's got to be simple play from here on in. Brazil are ready to take on what remains in this second set. Argentina have to hit back. They trail by two points at 14-12, having lost the first set 22-10. And Brazil are in possession with Cynthia Pires. 18 seconds left on the clock in this second set. Argentina have to get the ball back and get it forward themselves. But Brazil with another goal. That might just about do it, but here's Rossi. Three points needed. The second's ticking by. Argentina have a player down. And there goes the Hooter. Brazil have done it. The Brazilian fans who've made the long journey in the crowd go wild. Hugs all round on the sideline. Brazil have won that second set, which means they will defend their gold medal. Such emotion for the players as they go and shake hands and embrace their Argentine counterparts. Ultimately, it was a much closer second set than it was in the first when Brazil won by 22 points to 10. But just a 15-12 win, much more narrow in the second period, means that Brazil are the beach handball gold medalists. Much credit should go to Argentina as well, though, as I said, with just one win in the group stage, they looked really up against it. But then after beating Australia in the quarterfinals in a shootout, they managed to overcome Norway by the same method in the semis. Ultimately, though, it was just one step too far in the final, up against an incredibly strong Brazil side, who won gold in 2005 when it was still an invitational sport in Germany. After taking bronze in 2009, it was gold again in Cali, South America in 2013, but hundreds of miles away in Europe in 2017, Brazil have done it again. Credit to, to that man there with the A on his chest, Stanley McKenzie, the Brazil coach, who has led them to victory. And in spectacular fashion, they've won each and every one of their matches by two sets to nil. They haven't given their opponents a chance. Australia, Poland and Chinese Taipei dispatched in the group stage. Tunisia beaten 2-0 in the quarters. Spain knocked out 2-0 in the semis. And now Argentina beaten in the final. Celebrations, you'd imagine, will continue long into the night for Brazil. The Brazilians know how to party like no other. Argentina will probably be disappointed at this point, but I'm sure in a few days' time, when they land back in Buenos Aires and beyond, they'll look back with those silver medals across their chest as a really, really good achievement. Remember, they came into this championship having won seventh place at the World Championship last year. And this is a really good achievement for them. Here are the end of match stats. Brazil ultimately winning 15 more points across the two sets. 20 goals and 29 shots, which is a really, really good record been the outstanding team in this tournament and deserve it gold medalists. The Brazilian girls down on the court now having a bit of a dance off. Sure right next square will be busy with them later on tonight. Plenty of the athletes go out to celebrate on the penultimate day of competition here in Wrocław. gold medal match still to come as well as Brazilian 
players look to make it a double across both men's and women's competitions. And then we'll take on Croatia at the top of the hour. But at the moment, the focus on the Brazilian women's team. They have won the gold medal, and this is how they did it. Thank you. 